fit in place. That is how you key the glass. There's no way I would let you drill the glass because even if it was just a thousandth of an inch off, the glass would be too rigid and with the thermal expansion and contraction it would crack, crack the glass around the, the holes. So we put mylar key tabs over it and just tape them in place and you're fine. You can repeat that over and over and over again. And your, your repeatability is better than five thousandths of an inch over the entire surface when you use it. So it's nice being young. Enjoy it while you can. And I'll see if I can find some tabs to give you an example of on the next broadcast. So, good. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, are there any more questions for tonight? Oh, yes. We, we, oh. We've got two, two others. Uh, oh. Well, actually, one other. CES 2014. We will be there. We have already arranged that. Uh, we will be in a booth. Uh, it's a good place to be, I guess. We will send out the details of where our booth will be uh, mm -hmm. located. Yes. And... Um, Yeah, that's, I had to read the rest of that. So, uh, we are definitely going to be there, no question. I mean, it's all set up. Plus, we'll be at the uh, 3D Print World uh, yes. one at the end of January in Burbank. In Burbank. Yeah. And uh, that one's proving to be growing. So, any of those guys, again, in the Southern California area, it's the very last day of January and the first day of February. Should be quite the show. Giving away free printers every hour. How can you go wrong? That's right. All right. CES Jude. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so funny. Thanks, Al. <laughs> <laughs> that was my tongue. Yeah. Okay. Uh, have you managed to track the boards for the last... For the laser. The laser. I looked today. It's, They're it's in shipment, but... First off is, there were seven boards that were sent out, okay, which were due like three days after Thanksgiving. None of them showed up until Friday, Friday. or Thursday. It was Friday. And then five of the seven came, so we got it back on the horn. We've never had this problem with a supplier before, and I can't even tell you why they're doing it. I mean, it's, it's that too close to Christmas to be trying to make a Christmas shipment. But they shipped, according to the tracking number, they shipped the, the other two boards yesterday. So that means shuffle, shuffle. It means tomorrow we'll get a real tracking number saying where it's actually at. They're estimating Tuesday delivery. So, you know, over the course of this week, I'm hoping to get the, the laser boards and hoping to give it a test try. Yep. But again, the laser is a low priority this week. The well, highest priority is get the OK working and the uh, software in the hands of several people and then print the, not print, but ship. Mm -hmm. We're already printing, shipping. Yep. Uh, up, to, up to six more printers this week and then follow it up the next week again uh, and we know that's Christmas but we work Thanksgiving so we're allowed to work Christmas mm -hmm. so it doesn't get any better now but and, uh, I will Jim I will send you the track number as soon as, as, soon as we're yeah. when does Not your brother come in just before Christmas or at Christmas uh, December the 26th after Christmas yeah just after Christmas alright so we'll have a few days to work together yeah. great I look yeah. forward to it uh, great and let's see. Please be sure to send the tracking number. I just, yeah. You yeah. will, you will know. You will know exactly. We will. You will be the first email that's sent after we ship your unit. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Don't, okay, don't, don't worry about the accessories. They, as they come, as they're reliable, then we'll release them to people. And anybody who wants to do a beta tester. You just have to show me that you are willing to buy the uh, glasses so you don't get hurt for the laser. For yeah. the laser. That's very important. No glasses equals no sale. Mm -hmm. And that there's no small children anywhere nearby because they're, you, well, you don't even know what's going on with that thing. It's so, a release, yeah, uh, pretty much. Well, I don't care about the release as much as I don't want any kids getting hurt, or any adults for that matter. So safety conscious, we're all about the yeah. making you part of the beta testers. If you're not safety conscious, you got to buy it through a third party who doesn't care if you cut your head off or not. And we do. So, there you go. Um, also, if anybody wants to sign up to be a 405 nanometer tester to play around with some of that resin print stuff, Ooh. I have no problem with supplying a system like that. And that would be very interesting for a mixed build. Not so. many people 
you know what? When the this right guy jumps on this one, you're all going to be surprised at what they can do. Yeah. You too. I know. So, <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. I already got someone at Caltech who's on board with it, so I'm pretty sure they saw it immediately, and I'm pretty sure some of the other ones will see it. <laughs> <laughs> they it to me. Yeah. Took the bait, hook, line, and sinker. Actually, you'd be a perfect guy for this, I think. Yeah, Alan also has the glasses for the 105 uh, nanometer since uh, he used to work in the uh, semiconductor industry. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Great. So, oh, nice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. The infrared laser, right? Uh, yes. It, that is for the infrared laser. Okay. Yes, it's so. a UV resin, and then the idea is is that we're going to draw with the uh, laser, but we're going to make a swimming pool out of the ABS, and I'm going to do a mixed build so that you can have both, both best of both worlds, and then we got something else that we're going to get to play with, but I'm not telling you about that. Just say it's another material that's also uh, wavelength specific curing. So that's the fun thing about this. Even though this has been a marathon, no. This has been four marathons. This is an Ironman triathlon for us about getting this far. Mm -hmm. But so many things have been in the background, just kind of like meandering towards us. This little thing, that little thing. Every morning we do an hour to four hours of research. We keep sending off emails and bringing in new materials and new techniques, uh, new technologies. And we see how they dovetail together. So now is where it's starting to be more fun, less drudgery for us. So. Uh, yeah, the cost. I'm sorry, we are teasing you guys a little bit. You know what? Partly and partly because it's it's something that we really think needs to have a little IP protection before we just throw it out on the plate there. Yep. Uh, pure and simple. Mm -hmm. We threw four things out last weekend. We'll see what goes on tonight's call. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay, Gavin's got a quick question. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, if you want to buy parts, absolutely. So, is Gavin online now? Uh, he might be. He might be watching us. I think well, listen. He, so, so those people may, may, who are lur lur lurking right now uh, send us emails every now and then. So yeah. That, uh, yeah. Yeah. People say, can you contact us? I think we're like the most accessible group there is. I, I'm hoping that's true. We're pretty uh, accessible. Uh, shoot emails to everybody. If you don't get what you want, Shoot me the personal email, carl690, that's carl with a K, at gmail.com. Don't spam me to death, but I'm more than happy to hear from anybody. And, uh, you know, call us. You got the shop phone, and uh, our Skype is hy.rel. And we have the Skype turned on most of the time right now, uh, and that will continue to be that way. We're still doing, uh, so if you guys don't get, get in touch with us via Skype, we may be doing a, uh, we may be doing training classes. So just keep, keep you know typically type two in, hours type later. In, yeah. Let us know that you you're you're on and yeah we'll we'll try to get to you in the middle of the classes as well. So. Yeah. And on on a, on that we'd like to finish off on a final note as we um, as we look to the future. We we see that this marketplace will change by the hour. Yeah. We're happy with the approach we've taken. It's a good basic starting point. We know that there are some areas where you know, there's always going to be constant improvement. We expect that. We accept it. We figure it's part of being in the game. Um, we feel like the service that you give will be one of the more defining functions. And so in our business model, we see to growing to maybe 20 service people who are available by the end of 2014. Now, if it may only get to be five or ten, uh, but as the sales grow, as the customer base grows, we're we're committed to it, and we feel like it's the right way to go. That there'll always be some other printer out there, other technology. But then, when it comes down to it, if you can't get help making it work, if you can't get support with it, it's better not to have wasted the time and the money on it. So that's a real big push for us. And it's the reason why we still do with customers like Bosch, is that we give them the support we do. So um, we're hoping that that can grow with us as we grow. We hope that we not just become a, a cookie cutter picking out little pieces, but we build an organization where we're able to support the efforts of creative people. 
I got I got an email tonight. Last thing, I, I apologize. I want to share it with you guys. A nice person who is an artist, but a, an incredibly intelligent artist uh, from England, and she came up with some ideas that I hadn't heard expressed before, and I'm a hundred percent in favor of it. She mentioned taking a large sculpture, putting out pieces of it for a community to print each one print one piece, mm -hmm. and then build a large sculpture, like a megalith. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I thought that was a great project for a community of people to do, like five thousand bricks. Everybody prints a brick, and then you put together the structure. So, I mean, these people are thinking way outside my box, and I'm, I'm, I mean, that's just the tip of the iceberg on new ideas and new ways to do things, but. I can see where it could be huge. Yeah, I could see a lot of really fun stuff coming. So, anyway, a million blessings on all yes. you guys, and thank you so much for tuning in for tonight's broadcast. And Ian and I, yes, the training videos are coming. So, yeah, he's, yeah. If you, get, you see him start pulling out an attack hammer, you, you're, you're going to know they're, they're getting done because it's <laughs> smacking me on the head. So, you know what? We each have a job to do. And we can all do the other guy's job, but then our job doesn't get done. So I'm focusing on the software and helping with the shipping. Davo's doing his part where he's talking to the customers and helping with the shipping. Hutch is doing his part. He's making sure we do our part and helping with the shipping. And he's working on the videos. Yeah. So that's the way it works. Um, this week, we are really looking forward to having some extra help. And uh, we actually have another person. So there's lots of people here percolating. And when we find the right person, you'll see us add them on without hesitation. Yep. So stay with us. Have a great week. And blessings on all you guys. All right. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Good night. Good night.